Good morning. Happy Master Sunday is the day. Excited to be playing a little golf here before we get going. So um, we're going to play here a new course that popped up. And I just downloaded it. It is Goat Hill Park. I believe this is California. And I, I know it's kind of a famous course. Um, you know, because it's like old school and all that. So like kind of if you follow like the Golfer's Journal or any of that type of stuff, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll hear about it. So we're going to give it a go. And it, it's only a par 65, so expecting it to be very, very short. And so I'm going in with the goal today. I want to work on my wedges. In our trip in Alabama, I really struggled with those. You know, I just didn't hit them as good as I would like. So you're going to see me trying to give myself, you know, I'm, I'm going to, if like on this hole, I could have tried to drive the green, but I decided to take a chance and see if I could, um, see if I could drive it. And so I forgot, we don't, we're not going to putt. We're going to try to play this one fairly quick. So we're not feeling, a, we're not hundred percent warmed up yet. So we're going to go five iron here, tiny greens. So we're going to try and start this ball out to the right side there. Uphill should be playing about 190. Hit it bad. Hit it bad. Let's try and, oh, disc golf. That's pretty cool. Disc golf. So let's see, we got to work wedges. We're going to try to hit one a little lower and scoot it a little bit. See if I can get it to release. I ah, just spun. That won't cut it. So, yep, going to just work our way through. Should be a good time. Get in a little bit before the, uh, the Masters gets done. So another one here, I mean, I could try and do something, but we're going to hit. My three iron, just so I have a, a, a wedge in. That one pretty good. And uh, leave myself 84, kind of a tweener, but for me, that's a very small 54. So I kind of like courses like this where, you know, there's not a huge emphasis on driving. That was a very good one. I, I really like how I hit that one, by the way. There's not a huge emphasis on driving, and there's a huge emphasis on being able to be super accurate with your wedges, because that's what I grew up on. You know, I grew up on a course, something like this. You know, I, I played golf for probably three years at a course that was, I, I think, like a par 30. And, you know, if I go back there, I went back there and played once. You know, there was two of them we played. The one, you know, there was the one, there's like one or two par fours on those holes. I mean, I, I might be able to get there with my three iron nowadays. And I know the other one we played, I remember they, 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 it's a par four the first hole because you tee off, you have to tee off with an iron. They don't let you tee off with a wood. And, you know, I went back and played, and uh, we got a 54 degree, just trying to hit it a little harder here. I guess hit it too high. Ooh, interesting. And so, um, you know, I hit a five iron, like to like five or six feet when I played there. Uh, you know, and everybody's like, oh, you're on the wrong course. And, and what it does is the greens aren't super big at places like this. So you get really accurate. 
as you can see what just happened there, you know. You learn about where you can't miss. You learn about, hey, it's still okay to miss a green because you can still make par, you know. The, I love it for that mindset that it, it really helped me as a golfer growing up. This is just a little wedge. See if I go. Just try to get it up there. That was a hard shot. So it, uh, you know, it really helps you like, all right, hey, as long as I hit it in certain spots, I still can make par. Like you almost were like, man, if I hit the green, that's, that's, that's a bonus. That's a big bonus. And I'm going to have a chance to, uh, to make a birdie. You know, that was kind of the, the mentality. So you were really thinking about trying to do that and it was kind of nice this is a nine iron 132 i don't think i get pitching wedge there but i hit nine deep hmm kind of between i probably i might have been able to hit the pitching wedge there now we got a very quick one i'm going to chip it chip down this hill and let it run. I thought it would run more, stay on the green. Not bad. I think I just had too much club there on the tee shot and it probably could have putted that. But we're trying it out. We're just seeing what we can do. All right, uphill 155. I'm going to try a seven. So yeah, just a lot of fun kind of getting the mindset here on this one. This is kind of nice. You know, if you're coming in here thinking, all right, I'm going to work on hitting greens. Actually, be a good one to practice your greens because these things are tiny. That was a seven iron there. Hit that pretty good. And we like that one. Okay. Let's see, 154, up a little, not as much as the last one, so I'm going to hit an 8. Oh, I hit it thin. See if it gets there. Bounce left. Bounce on. Uh, I hit it thin. Not, a, not the best effort. I'll try a little chip. Again, I'd probably putt this in real life, but I do want to get better. That's another thing I'd like to be better at is these little chips, kind of like what we were just talking about. See if that's too much or not. Go in. There we go. Um, when I was playing at these types of places, that was, that was the mindset. It's like, all right, hey, I'm on the fringe, which, again, is a very small target, but... You know, you're thinking, all right, I can chip it in. And it really makes you believe that. You know, you're never out of it. Like, you know, you're, you're doing just fine when you've got a chance to hit a shot and, you know, be able to do, you know, do something with that chip. So I just like it for that reason as well. So that's another thing I'm trying to do this year. And, Hey, we can practice that a little here. So we got 21 up, 106. I'm going to hit a gap wedge. I think that's got to go. Maybe not. Yeah, I, you know what? I just didn't, I kind of scuffed it a little. So I didn't hit it perfect. And so it took some spin off of it. Uh, 130. Here we're going to hit pitching wedge. I hit it okay. Sit down. I hit it too hard though. That, that actually wasn't too bad though. So we did our, we're working on our first Legion of Birdies like video. We're almost done with it. 
in Alabama, show you the trip. And I, there's a, there is a swing of me on there. And I didn't play, you know, I actually was pretty happy with how I played. Ah, is that on the fringe? These sticky fringes, brutal. All right, let's see if we can chip one in. Um, This one I might have to putt. I don't know if I can hit it soft enough. For it to read. Yeah, we're going to putt it. Which putting has been working pretty good, actually, uh, as an update. I've actually, all my students now, for the last few weeks, they have to putt when they play. Just because I want them in the mindset of trying to make a few. And, you know, taking into account some of the things that go on with putting, you know, hey, it's uphill, it's downhill. You know, how hard do you, how hard do you think it's going to roll out? Stuff, if you're watching the Masters, you're seeing a lot of that uh, as they're going because, um, you know, they're, they're trying to dive the ball and stuff down these slopes. There's another three iron again, just kind of playing for some wedges. Want to work on these. And then these tight little pins, we've got a 50 yarder. But um, anyway, I, I was saying before I had my swing, you know, I was watching it. And, uh, you know, I noticed some things on a couple of the range shots. Like that, and, and a couple of these wedges. Like that one I hit pretty good. And what I noticed was I'm kind of hitting them too high, especially the wedges and the short irons, and I'm just losing some yards. So I'm trying to get the ball down, but I'm also struggling when I do that. I, I hit a pull. So we are trying to work on that a little bit. Seven iron here. Hit it good. Just hope it's not too much. Nope, pretty good. That one felt pretty good. This ball's almost done. You can just hear it and how it's hitting the screen. All right, we got another one here. Let's see. Let's go a little more right here. Again, just kind of working wedges and irons today. Wedges and irons. Just trying to get it out there. So I believe this is in Los Angeles. It has that Los Angeles look, if, if I had to guess. All right, up 23, going with a, let's go. With a pitching wedge, it's going to hit it pretty good. That one I really liked. See, that, that one launched lower, and I didn't pull it. So I might have figured something out there. Trying to get that launch down. So that was 20. That's still high. It's still 27 for a pitching wedge. You know, tour, eh, it's not too bad. I mean, tour guys... 24, ladies 25.7, so maybe not that bad. 169, downhill, we're going to go with an 8, see if we can stretch it. Hit it thin, so let's see if we do get it there. Catch that, oh that's short. Yeah, we didn't get it there. That was not the right club. Some tiny targets. If you can score here. Score here. You'll be able to score. So, you know, kind of going back to what I was talking about a little bit earlier, you know, when you start playing, I think when you play some of the bigger courses first, you know, or, or like when you're playing places that are a little tougher, you know, unless you have somebody there telling you or showing you, 
I think a lot of times people think like, oh, if I miss a green, it's over. I was just trying to punch a three iron out there. I was trying to not hit it all the way up there, but I didn't hit that very good either. So was trying to be a little shorter. Um, but, you know, I think, you know, because the up and downs and stuff are so difficult, they're not in that mindset that it's possible. So, you know, they think, oh, I've messed up. But if you watch, you know, watch the pros, this was a, a gap wedge, by the way, going up the hill, hit that pretty good. Um, liking how uh, my distance control has been pretty decent on them. But what you'll get is, um, you know, again, you, know, you got to watch, you know, you want to watch, um, you know, watch the pros, watch how much they do end up getting up and down. And they make some pretty, t you know, they're, they make some pretty tough chips look pretty easy. That's because they just believe that they can do it. They believe that you're supposed to do it. Going to hit a three wood on this one because it is a par five. So, you know. We'll try to get there. Try to hit one up there. Then we're going to try to hit the three iron. We really have to just carry it about 200. It looks like get it over that bunker. Might be a long shot today, but. Or if I pull it. Definitely would have carried. Looks like we got a look. Yeah, it had the distance. 25 yarder. You know, again, this is stuff that's like, man, you know, hey, just get it on the green and it's so small, you've got a chance. So we got a little 25 yarder. I hit that a little hard. Nah, that wasn't good. I drove that. That was the wrong shot. I hit that with like a low trajectory and it calls for a high trajectory. Okay. 337. I'm going to hit another. Yeah, we'll just hit three iron. We'll stick with that. You know, we'll just play the little bit longer shot in. And we'll play the Probably have an eight iron or so in, or nine iron maybe. Yep, so 137, we're gonna hit a nine. Hit it pretty good. But it's gonna be short. Wow, a little short. Thought that was gonna be pretty good. All right, well, these are the ones trying to make these. This is makeable. Trying to make it, but I pulled it. Not bad though. Gave it a gave it an effort. All right, so yeah, what do you think of this course? Be interested to hear it. One seventy down fifteen. This is where we hit eight earlier, pretty much from the same distance. So we're going to go with the seven now. A little thin, but not bad. Uh, and then I hit that one hard. So that's, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier with my shorter irons. I get to like, you know, it seems like eight or nine iron. They just come off so soft. And then seven, six, five aren't bad, but get in there. No. But, uh, you know, something to work on. You'll be seeing it as we get outside. All right, what's 18 here? I believe this is 18. Yep, 292. All right, let's see if we can keep it to two more shots. 
So we're going to hit this again. Oh, I didn't even notice we're 300 par. That's not too bad on how small these greens are. Of course, I don't probably why I was playing good. I was just having a nice old chat, not worrying about it. Got a gap wedge 109. Let's see if we can throw it in there tight. Hit it pretty good. See if it's the number. Ah, a little deep. Hit it good. I like how I hit it. So, there we go. That's the Goat Hill Park. That was a new one that popped up. Pretty fun. I think it should be something you should try playing. Uh, just to work on those short irons and getting, a, getting aggressive and attacking with them. I think that would be a good thing. So, pretty fun. And uh, a good one to challenge yourself with. Even if you go down those short tees, even could be a real good uh, challenge there. If you go down to the yellows there, so uh, see what you can score. All right. So if you have any questions? Thanks. Leave comments down below. And uh, we got our boot camp starting, so we'll check in the next one. Peace.